Hey guys, real quick, here's how you can get gems very fast. Did you catch that? No, of course not. It was too fast. I mean, look at this. This is how many gems I got just off doing this for a few days. The most popular way a player can use their star gems is to revive their dead character. I've done this a lot, especially when it's a world that I'm very passionate about. And I also think many players like you will want something like that as well. There are also other uses of the star gem in this game, which include removing a trait from a weapon or an armor piece, removing a curse from a weapon slash armor piece, and many more uses which I don't know or remember. But you get the point. Star gems are useful and super helpful if you're having a rough time. So let's crack on with it. Knowing all of the great uses of the star gems will lead you to asking, well, how do I even get my hand on some star gems? Good question. There's many answers to this, four answers that I know of. The first way and easiest is the daily rewards thingy. You get different amounts of star gems for each day and can also get revival inks on certain days. And of course, since it's a daily reward thing, you can claim another reward in 24 hours. Let me tell you guys a fact that you'll probably want to know so later in the video, it will make more sense. When you die, a tab will pop up saying you want to revive or not. It gives you options of using star gems, one revival rank, or more, depending on how many times you've revived already, and an option that says game over. I think the revival ranks cap at 3, but I don't know if that's correct or not, but that's not the point. The point is, every time I have died and revived myself in the same world, it will add up the total amount of inks that I need to use again in order to survive. And this also correlates to the amount of star gems as well. I found out that each revival ink costs 30 star gems. Since the revival inks cap at 3 at a time, the max star gems to revive would be 90. Knowing this is a good way to judge how much your star gems are actually worth. The second and a little harder to find is through coupon codes. I say a little harder because you have to actually go on the internet and actually find the coupon codes yourself. Some of these codes can give you star gems and revival inks. I also keep up to date with the coupon codes. So if you want some free coupon codes, I have a Discord server that will list out the coupon codes as it comes out. Link will be in the description and my bio. One time, a code gave me 15 revival inks. The third way to get your star gems is through paying for them with real money. <laughs> There are a variety of amounts of star gems you can buy for different prices, but I honestly think it's a waste of money, especially after hearing the next way to get your star gems. The fourth and final way I know how to get star gems is through dying. Now you may be thinking, doesn't dying just contradict the whole objective of the game? Well, yeah, that's true. The point of the game is to survive and adventure to defeat bosses to finish one of the four endings. But in order to live and thrive, you're gonna have to die, like, a lot. I'm not gonna confuse you anymore and just tell you how you can get more star gems through just simply dying. When you die, a remain box will pop up, showing you what type of remains you got. There are different types of remains as shown with color, but for this trick, I guess you could call it, you're mostly gonna get the lowest type of remains, which is the gray one. But, that's okay. That's exactly what we need in order to get a lot of star gems. If you open a Grey Remains, you will inevitably get at least one Star Gem. If you're lucky, you can also get two Star Gems, plus Blueprints, Totems, and many more with only a Grey Remains, the lowest one. That's crazy to think about. The lowest type of Remains can get you some powerful things like Totems to upgrade and use in your world. I mean, look at how many Totems I got just from using this trick. Here are some of the cool or rare Totems or Blueprints that I got. Now that you have learned the four ways to get star gems, let's delve into how you can optimize your production of star gems for free. Free, so this excludes the paying for the star gems option. You currently optimize or farm star gems through pay. You just pay. First off, coupon codes. Easy way to farm coupon codes is of course to look online, but I also have coupon codes on my Discord. I'll link that in the description for easy access. I've gotten some pretty good loot off just coupon codes alone and it's for free secondly the daily rewards now this may be a no-brainer but since it's a daily rewards type system you just have to come back into the game 24 hours from the last time you have claimed the previous reward if you kept up a good record you will be able to receive the two 
revival inks on the seventh day. And I have just told you that each revival ink is worth 30 star gems, so you could count the seventh day reward as 60 star gems. Compared to the other amounts on the previous days, that's a pretty good deal. <music> Lastly, dying. If you have looked at the thumbnail, you'll know that we will be using campfires to speedrun death, but not to this extent, where I have 8 campfires surrounding me. That was a little overboard, so I could use it for the thumbnail. Since I'm making a video about how to die really quick, I did some experimenting. I tested everything that I could do to a campfire to kill. First thing that comes to mind is fire, specifically burning. When you step on the campfire, you will start to burn, of course. Then there's heat, specifically high fever, which is a stat in the game that you can get when your temperature is really high. There is a special interaction with this when you sleep. When you have the high fever trait and you sleep, you will die. Great, this must be the answer to dying really fast. Nope, not even close. I tried to get high fever with campfires, but that usually takes around two or three campfires, which is not ideal because that takes about three trees, and cutting three trees will take a lot of time compared to this next solution. So then I tried to find the most time efficient and least resource intensive way to die, and it's one campfire. Here's why. One campfire only takes one log and two branches, instead of two or three campfires, which costs two to three times more. So less material means less time to collect it. Number two, you just have to sleep twice instead of clicking the wait button. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. Maybe it's because at first I was trying to get the high viewer trait, so I didn't think about the plain damage of the campfire. To get the most out of this, since you get a key every hour, you should try to die really fast to use up all the 10 keys then come back 10 hours later to repeat the same thing. If you know how to die really fast, it will take about 7 minutes to die, plus to open all the remains. If you forgot anything, here's a summary. There are three possible ways to possess star gems for free. Number one is daily rewards, number two is coupon codes, and number three is opening remains. Dying, basically. To optimize star gem production, you'll need to, number one, come back every 24 hours to claim your daily rewards. Number two, check some of the, the Wild Darkest pages to get coupon codes. Number three, speedrun death and open your remains. You will get at least one star gem for every box and if you're lucky, you can attain totems and blueprints. Also, you might get more than one. Since every key has a one hour timer and you have 10 keys, come back every 10 hours to speedrun death and obtain your free gems. Also, some tips, like always. Tip number one, you can still get more remains after not having any keys. You just won't be able to open remains, so you can save yourself some time and get all the remains beforehand to open them when you have the keys. Tip number two, wait, I don't have any more tips. And there you have it, how to get free star gems. If you've enjoyed, feel free to subscribe. We're really close to 300 subscribers, which is my goal right now. I have a discord with coupon codes and you can also ask for help for the wild darkness. The link will be in the description and will also be in my bio. What do you guys want the next videos to be? Currently after this video, I'll be working on the build order since some people asked for the build order for the early game. I'll probably just cover the build order until Ruins of Light number 3. It's a little late, but Happy New Year's and I hope you guys have a good year.